All right, here we are in our demo environment. We are going to take an overview of the entire purchasing process. So let's say that I get sent an email for an invoice. I will open this invoice up. There it is. I see they want some guest chairs. We will go ahead and we will save this to our desktop. Purchase invoice three. So now that that's saved, that will go back into financials. And I will go to my incoming documents. You can also use the search filter to come to the screen. I will click on create from file and click choose. And now I have to look for, there it is, purchase invoice three, open it. And so now we are going to send it to our OCR service, which is optical character recognition. And basically what this does is it uh, accepts the invoice and it will create the invoice for us automatically. Um, it does take a couple minutes. Um, so we'll wait here for now. Um, but as you can see here, there's all these fields. You can enter in the vendor. It'll have the vendor name for us. It should uh, populate the order number, the due date, but as you can see, the status is released. So it has been and it has been sent to the OCR status. All right, let's see what it says. All right, the purchase invoice has been created. It was successfully received. Success. And here it is. So we will click on this. And so we will notice that everything is already filled in for us. We haven't had, uh, we haven't had to do anything. Um, so I will send this off to get approved since I need to, uh, I am set up to, uh, if the amount is over $500, I am set up to, I'm not allowed to post without it being approved. So I will send an approval request and my approver will it should be he's going in and going to his he found the purchase invoice and he's opening it up sees it's okay he approves it And now we're back. So we will look to see here. Oh, hasn't updated quite yet. Um, we can reopen this, we get approvals. Notice it's been approved. And if you scroll over to the right, you can see the date, the time, you can add a comment. But for now, we will go ahead and post this. I will send that out to be approved. And as you can see, you can type approval entries it's on the bottom there. And it is open. Click on the record and it opens that invoice. So I will go into my approvals again and see that it has been approved. Post, let's see, it says it's approved. So we'll go ahead and try and post. So the invoice has now been posted. It is in the posted purchase invoices window. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up. And there it is. It's same thing that we saw, just now it's posted. So 
let's say we want to go ahead and also pay this, our vendor for the purchase. We will go back to our home screen, go to finance, and go to payment journals. Um, and we have a general journal, um, bank reconciliation, um, and also an AP checks. Well, we'll send out a check, so we will be on AP checks, click on edit journal. From here, click on suggest vendor entries. Um, and we see that we already want to make a computer check. It's already been filled out for us. You can also do a manual check, an electronic payment. Um, you can do this by general ledger account. Um, but we want to do a computer check. So we will click on OK. And there is our invoice that we just had pulled up. Notice that um, it will show that there is an overdue payment as it was due on the 31st of March, which is okay. So from here, we will send an approval request to pay this. Consent. Go back into the approval entries. There it is. Our approver will approve it. So we are back here. I will go to print check. Notice that it gives you the last check that we printed. You can do one check per vendor per document if you would like. Um, you can also do a test or print. You can filter, but everything is how I want it. We will send to PDF document and it is loading, loading. There it is. All filled out, it's ready to go. So we will go ahead and post. Uh, so because I added in the check, it is asking for another approval it's because of my restrictions. And another approval request has been sent. Keeping our approver busy today. Going to the approval entries, back into the record, and he approves it. All right, and so now we are back, and we will go to post. They were successfully posted. So, and that is uh, the full payment process. Um, if you would like, you can always go into um, to the posted entries if you would like. Posted, uh, we'll look at our posted purchase invoices. And there it is. navigate and it will you can see the general ledger entries that have been updated which GL accounts um, you can also see the vendor card has been updated and that is it